Hello everyone. For the second video, uh, we're going to talk about electric field. So first thing I want to talk about is electric field is the equivalent of gravitational field. Now it was really easy in gravity because Earth was the only object that was big enough to actually make a difference and we just said, oh Earth, uh, G is 9.81 meters per second squared. And that was the gravitational field that we dealt with. Now the thing is, every other object that we ever talked about uh, on Earth was so small compared to Earth that its gravitational field was negligible. That's not going to be the same with charges. So for each individual charge, we're going to have to calculate the individual field. Just like if you remember in gravitation and orbits, we talked about this equation here, which tells me what's the gravitational field on another planet. Now we can see it's very similar in the electrical world. So we have E, which this will tell us our field strength. And the field strength is measured in newtons per coulomb. K, once again, just like last time, is 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q is our charge, measured in coulombs. And R is your distance from that charge, which will make sense in just a moment. So let's say I have a positive charge here. I want to know what is the field if I am standing 1.5 meters away, that would be my R value. Uh, let's say I stand even further away, up to 3 meters away, what's my new R value it would be 3 meters, so on and so forth. Uh, the last thing to talk about is the direction of the field. So the direction of the field is a direction a positive charge would accelerate. So this is a positive charge here in the upper left corner. If I put a test charge right here at this blue dot, it would accelerate away from the positive charge. Now if I put it here, again, it would accelerate away, accelerating away from the positive charge. So we'll talk about more direction a little bit more later, but in general you can say that positive charges, oh, this drawing is a little messy, but oh well, um, positive charges will have field lines pointing away from them. Or as negative charges, it's going to be the opposite. Uh, negative charges are going to have field lines pointing towards them because a positive test charge, if it was placed near this negative, would want to move towards it. Uh, there are more notes on how the mathematics works, uh, as well as a web assign to give it a shot. Uh, and just a reminder again, I understand that depending on your schedule and whatnot, um, just do what you can and what you can't. That's fine. It's not going to hurt you great in any way. Uh, you'll be all right. Okay, good luck.